think is a major uh, <clears throat> a major social network like like I like think Instagram is the barber Instagram. platform. Jamal, 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 right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How you been? I, I hear a lot about you. From Sacramento, yeah. Yeah, but I know you guys been doing your thing, training up the barbers. Yeah, right. Yeah, this is a nice spot, man. Right on, right on. Yeah, man. Okay, okay. It's a little bit bigger. Check it out. Let me check it out. Yeah. What's up, man? Ronnie. Yeah, you know how it is. The barber college, there ain't no customers. Trying to get my haircut clean, their haircut clean, everything. You know how to practice. How long has this been? This one been open up? About, about a year now. Yeah, yeah. Go check out the classroom or everything. Yeah, let's check out the classroom. We have our one of the instructors stay here. They do nothing but book work. They'll stay here. This is the book. You remember this, right? The ladies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah so, they, so we didn't crack it one time in Marlboro. Really? <laughs> so that's good. That yeah. So for, for the first month, what we do is we haven't focus nothing on this. Mm. Just all on this. And then after they uh, pass the phase one, they'll take their exit exam for the phase one, and then once when they pass that, then they end up on the floor and they get more practical work. So once when they get the practical work done, then we go on to phase three, which is the same board preparation. So first they get the book work done, then they get their hands on, then we do the preparation for the state board, and that's another classroom right over here. But why did you want to start a barber college? I passed my state board, and I got a job at a barber shop. About six months at a barber shop, and then I actually went to go get a haircut like down the street at another barber shop. It was a sanitary, and I kind of like, I didn't get the look I wanted, you know, and I was unsatisfied. So, I kind of sat there and I was like, man, like, me, myself, when I do a haircut, I place myself in, inside the chair. How, how do I want a haircut? Like, I hate when, like, people forget hairs on the back of my right. neck, or they leave hairs, Those like, details. like, little things, or they don't dust off underneath my shirt, because it starts to get punky and stuff, right. and I'm imagining myself inside the chair, so when I'm cutting somebody, I make sure that I get those areas that are not on my pet peeve, because I know they, they, they're human too. That's good the game way. right there. You know? That's good game. So, <clears throat> I sat there and I was like, you know what? Like, a lot of these young cats are, are like, they're not really learning properly how to be sanitary and, and, and actually get the great service that you pay for. So, uh, I went back to the barber college and I asked them if I could, you know, if I could, you know, train to uh, be an instructor. They gave me, you know, they started training me, training me, and as I was working, I progressed to, you know, be where I'm at today. I'm currently the lead barber or the lead instructor in this location. So, like, and and all my students, you know, I make sure they pass, and I make sure, like, not only do they learn barbering, but they get to learn a lifestyle. Like, they get to project who they are. You know, this is one industry that you can do that. You yeah, know, yeah. they can go off of backyard cuts yeah. to end the shop getting paid for it. You know, everything they do reflects on who they are. The way if their station is clean. Their haircuts are proper, their service is great, they talk to you well, they're well mannered, everything, and projects not only their barber, but the lifestyle. Mm -hmm. One thing I noticed about barbering is everybody who, who cut, who's around barbershops or join barber colleges and stuff, we always, we have one thing in common, we use our artistic side. Yeah. Whether you like music, whether I draw, whether uh, someone is, is really good at, uh, uh, really nice in fashion, whatever it is, we're using that side of our brain. We're not using our mathematical side, our English side, our literature side. We're using our artistic side, yeah. creative side, you know? And so that's one thing off the bat, we have we have something in common, you know? I just have to bring it out of them, project it out of them. So usually there's different ways, like, you know, different techniques of, you know, some people like to read out loud, some people like to, you know, one-on-one, -on -one, some people like in groups. You know, you gotta figure it out, and then it's basically trial and error, but mainly, it's all about personality, it's bringing out who they are. I like to teach them to go shake people's hands and look them in the eye and bring them to your station and then chop it up about something outside of barbering. That's the first thing I do. Holidays are coming up. I'll, I'll give them a topic. I'm like, hey, chop it up. Tell them about how cold it is. And tell them, are you keeping, you know, is it raining outside or are you, you keeping dry? Uh, you know, you got your holiday shopping done. It, it sparks the first conversation. And then once when that starts, from then on, it becomes second nature and just natural for you to be able to converse with people because their artistic side is out of them. And once when they kind of bring their inner self out, then they get to mold of who the, per the professional image of who they actually want to be. And I feel like Barber College is like definitely the best place to like figure out who you are and, and 
you know, cultivate that. We just sent out a newsletter talking about turning transactions into relationships and treating like, you know, yeah, we can come and we can just make these haircuts transactions, transactions or yeah. we can turn it into a relationship and get to know exactly. them. Exactly. We can, exactly. you know, really conversate with them and, okay. and know them on a deeper level. And then at the same time, in the future, you can always benefit from those relationships. Oh, yeah, for you sure. Know, for because sure. it's resources, it's, it's is they want to, you know, help you grow, do better, put you in connection with certain people. Yeah. You know, and uh, that's important. Hey, it's, man, you never know who's going to see our show. You never you know. Sure. I have a buddy of mine that I cut his hair literally one time when he had moved, like, down south. But he works for DMV. And, and one time I had trouble with DMV, and I had called him up. And he took care of me. I never expected that, but, like, it's like... You never know, like, I gave him such a great service that he actually became a friend. I no longer cut his hair no more, but we stayed friends. And, and it turns out he works at DMV and I needed something, he helped me take out. Care of, you. of course, I'm gonna take care of him next time he comes to the shop. They get the training in here, basically, this is the state board room. Uh, you, remember, you remember taking the test on the state board? They got the, yeah, they yeah. Got the station, they got the shelves. You feel just like you it. Got the little you guys, that you guys we try to build it exactly yeah, like yeah, it yeah, and yeah. give them a feel for it. You know, we got the different mannequins. They got the new mannequins right here for the for the facial. Mm. They're on this now. So we make sure that we everything we teach them is, is up to date to the state board. And um, spend the time to, to, to really like prepare for their uh, state board test. Support. Yeah, it's definitely important, you know, that's the main thing. They got what they need. Yeah, that's all they got to do is put in the effort and work. Put in the effort and work. They got what they need. And then they get the L's, you know, once when they get the L's, they can go anywhere with it.